to our meditation time today. Let's each just find a comfortable spot wherever we are, a place where you can settle in, allow the body just to feel stable and supported and relaxed all at the same time. And once you get into that spot, whether you are seated or you are lying down, I would invite you to gently close your eyes and just start with some slow, steady breaths, allowing yourself with each breath just to separate from whatever you were doing in the moments leading up to this one, whatever busyness or rushing or closing out your day or continuing your list, whatever your things were, let each breath allow you to separate from what's already done and come to this present moment. And as you're breathing, just check in with yourself. As we've come to the end of this weekend, a new week is right on the horizon. Just check in and see what are you carrying in your heart? What are you carrying in your mind? What are you carrying in your physical body? And just be mindful of those things. They're not wrong. You don't have to try to forget about them. Just be mindful. Be mindful of the things that are out of your control. Be mindful of the things that are in your control. And then be mindful of the things that are just neutral, but that if we're not careful, can distract us from the present moment, just like all the others. So let's make our practice tonight be one of mindfulness, just being aware, in tune, alert. So let's take a few breaths together as we're settling into this moment, a nice, slow inhale, followed by a slow exhale. And a slow inhale, and a slow exhale. One more like that together, breathing in and breathing out. And then you can either keep that same pace of breath or find a rhythm that feels good for you. Again, using the breath as a way to just separate from what has already passed and bring your focus to this moment, this breath. And our focus for today's time is the idea of getting quiet. And so I wanna share with you a quote from Deepak Chopra and then we're gonna use that to kind of ask ourselves some questions as we prepare to start a new week. He says, meditation is not about finding a way to make your mind quiet. And it's usually at that point we breathe the sigh of relief because it seems like such an impossible task. But he goes on to say, it is a way of entering into the quiet that's already there. So listen to that again. Meditation is not about finding a way to make your mind quiet. It is a way of entering into the quiet that is already there. And I know in that moment when you hear those words, you immediately begin to think, that's not me. He's describing someone else. There is no quiet already within me. That's why I'm trying to find it, sometimes almost desperately. But I will tell you as someone who lives and has lived a very big and loud life that I've learned over the years through this practice, the quiet really is inside of me. I've just been conditioned by this noisy, loud world not to recognize it. And so as we're sitting here together, I would just ask you to think to yourself, what does quiet look like to me? So just kind of picture in your mind, what does quiet look like? Maybe you can see a certain spot where you go. Maybe it's secluded. Maybe it's cut off from the distractions of the world, but just what, is, what does quiet look like? And then ask yourself, what does quiet feel like? What's the physical sensations that I feel when I've encountered quiet? 
And then the most obvious question is, what does quiet sound like? And I will tell you the obvious answer is not silence. What does quiet feel like? What does it look like? And what does it sound like? And as those questions, maybe you can answer them, maybe you can't, but as they just kind of hang in the air between us, let's just think for a second how our life has become conditioned to accept the noise and the chaos and the disturbances around us. Oftentimes the noise becomes so distracting that we just add more noise to drown it out. Think about when people are in a heated discussion and one voice gets louder. Oftentimes what you see is the other voice either matches it or grows even louder. So what has happened in our world to condition us to thinking that that is normal? And is there a way for you and I to switch our default? And instead of thinking that the noise and the chaos and the disturbances are normal, what if we started to really see quiet as the normal? So that when those disturbances come, when those noises are very overwhelming and overstimulating. We won't see them as the norm anymore. And we'll begin to seek the quiet within. So what does quiet look like? What does it feel like? And what does it sound like? Oftentimes meditation and Restorative yoga practices are really difficult for people because we get quiet and it gets really uncomfortable. It's unfamiliar and we're not really sure what to do with it. But again, what if it could become our default? Just picture your life living from that angle, quiet as your norm. Imagine what it would do to your emotional health. Imagine what it would do to your mental health. And maybe you can't quite picture it, but I will assure you it will also impact your physical health. Instead of us saying, staying on this high alert all the time, paying attention to all the distractions and all the noises, the quiet can begin to soothe our nervous system, which then will soothe the physical parts of us and begin to heal us from the inside out. Oftentimes what's happened to us in our busy, noisy, loud world is our emotions get these frayed edges and every little thing becomes a trigger until for some people, they end up living in this state of triggers. And their parasympathetic nervous system gets exhausted because it can't keep up. But what if we changed our default. And so what I'd like for us to do is we're gonna just sit in the quiet. Oftentimes when we do this, I'll give you something to think about if the mind tries to wander or distract you, but rather tonight, I would like us to just be quiet and notice. Notice if there's restlessness in your body. Notice if there's restlessness in your mind or in your emotions, just notice. It's not a test, it's not a trial. It's just a moment for us to witness. And the more we can witness moments like this, the more familiar they will become until eventually 
we truly have changed our default. So just continue to breathe in and out slow and steady and just be in the quiet. And as you've sat or you've lied or are lying down in the space where you are in your home for these few minutes, just think back over those questions. What did quiet look like for you in those couple of moments? Did it look like fidgeting or did it look like a calm, peaceful body? What did it feel like? Did it feel a little uncomfortable? Or did it feel like the most delicious part of this entire day? What did it sound like? Did you notice the noises around you? Did they distract you? Or do they reinforce the idea that the quiet is not around us, it is within us? I can tell you that as I have sat here for just these couple minutes, the way that it looks, is it looks like ease. It looks like rest. The way that it feels, it feels like a respite from the busy moments of the day. And the way that it sounds, even with the buzzing of the air conditioning unit outside my window or the trickling of the bubbles in the fish tank or the movements around me, it sounds like peace. And what I want each of us to understand in these moments together is we're not gonna change, unfortunately, the noise of the world. We work in places, we live in places, we shop, we interact, we go throughout this world and it's noisy. From the traffic first thing in the morning to the conversations all day long to the social media, to the news, on and on and on. Those things are not gonna go away. And so our meditation practice can begin to help us figure out how to live in that world and still experience quiet. Deepak Chopra tells us, and I believe this with my entire heart, that quiet is not something that you are seeking externally. You don't show up to meditation to find the quiet. You show up and realize you had it all along. So I would invite you for just these last few breaths that we'll have together before we close our time. If you feel comfortable, just bring one hand to the center of your chest, right on top of your heart, and then cover it with your other. And just imagine if you could start to nurture the quiet within, allowing it to become your default, imagine this beautiful, protective way you could take care of your heart. All those frayed edges could become smooth again. The contentment and the joy could return to your outlook. The peace could find its way into your physical body and even in the midst of the noise and the chaos, you could find a respite. Just like you take the breath everywhere you go, I want to assure you, you take the quiet too. You just gotta practice and remind yourself that it's there. 
So just allow your hands just to come back down and take a long, slow breath in. Exhale, let it go. Just keep asking yourself in the days to come, what does quiet look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? And how can I allow it to become my default? Let's make that the way that we want to live our lives. And just imagine how it can begin to transform us and the world around us. Namaste.